connecting us, actually understanding our inner connectedness to the universe, to the cosmos, to the divine. Chanting Ram is also a chant of strength, fortitude, a chant that when you think you just can't take it and you are incapable, incapable, that's when you want to chant Ram because you are, we are capable. We have strength. We have perseverance. And we have the ability to ascend our consciousness to the higher planes and from the ascension up to bring those blessings here and now into our bodies and minds and memory tracks. So we we call it all in. We call out to Ram and we call it all in calling all the energy, all the qualities of our aura bathed in golden white light and called inward. Come on home, come on home, come on home. And as we draw inward, We let the spine lengthen. We bring our awareness as we draw inward, 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 and upward. Finding that space in the very epicenter of your spine and draw it all up. Draw it all up to your sun center. That's the beginning, and here we are breathing as if from the sun center. Because you are, because we are. Breathing here. And we call it all in because no matter where we've been mentally or emotionally or physically, we're ascending up and we're bringing all those parts into balance as we ascend. And then we call out We call out to the Great Ones. We are the Great Ones, and yet there's that inner, outer, cosmic blend, and we call out. We call out to the Great Spirit. Oh, Great Spirit. Oh, Great Spirit. Supreme Reality, Divine Mother, Divine Mother, Divine Mother. All the qualities, all the qualities of the golden white light the qualities of goodness. And when I think of the qualities of goodness, I think of of Kriyananda and his first wife, Joanna, calling out to the kitties. And he would always, she would boot him out the door in the middle of winter and say, go get the cats, Kriyananda, there's some kittens out there. And he'd go, kitty, 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 and he'd run back in the house and say, I tried, they're not coming. And she would boot him back out and 
say, kitty, 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 kitty. And finally she would come out and go, kitty, 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 kitty. She goes, remember, it's a sustained utterance. It's a mantra. It's a mantra. That's why we're calling out. And the goodness is a mantra. We're calling out goodness, 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 goodness. Goodness, 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 goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. The powers that be calling on all the elementals, all the planets, all the water, all the plants and trees and flowers, all the mountains, all the valleys, this beautiful earth beneath our feet. All the awakened ones, all the yogis and saints and sages and bodhisattvas, all of them, and they they go back through time immemorial. And when you call them out, your space becomes crowded with their radiance. with the unselfishness of their service to continue pouring out the blessings wherever they are, that we might see them, feel them, taste them, hear them, experience them. And by ingesting those blessings, we might become them. We call out to the Holy Creole lineage. The purpose of the lineage, the purpose of any lineage is to awaken to uplift and awaken. We call out to all of our teachers and their lineages. And we feel, we feel the lineage, all those lineages. And we call out to the indwelling radiance. I know you're in there. I know you're in there. Let's wash, wash away all the emotions that may fog and cloud our vision. The radiance can shine and its splendor and uniqueness. And this is a time when we are going to continue to strengthen our inner lives more and more completely to practice just that extra minute every day, maybe before we fall asleep, maybe when we wake up, maybe when we just sit down before we eat, we call on the goodness and the divine spirit, the divine mother, so that we ingest in our sleep that radiance, We wake up 
with that field of radiance with our first conscious breath. We dine upon that radiance each bite we take of our food, each sip we take from our drinks. And we do this because we can, because you're all, we're all capable. And in attuning to the Great Ones, we become like the Great Ones who serve. who serve by allowing and actually sending the radiance off their bodies and minds so that all beings might be a little bit more uplifted, maybe a little bit less in pain, may find the path a little easier. So we sit today and we chant today and we sing today and we breathe in and out today for all those that we love, for all those that we like, for all those that we know are having a difficult time, some kind of suffering, we sit for them. We sit for all of our neighbors. And we know, we know the universe is us. We are the universe. We sit for all beings, all life forms. And if there's anybody that you have any difficulties with, or they push your buttons, please sit for them. They represent all the unredeemed parts of ourselves. And we need to be able to bring them all up, bring them into our hearts, our greeds, our insecurities, wherever we shut down, to bring them into our hearts, see them and love them. See them and love them. How else, how else can they be transformed? only in the heart of goodness, only with the unselfish depth of loving awareness. 